If you watched my previous video of replacing the air filter on Wendy's bike, you will know that I left the bottom two screws out of the air filter housing. Well, this was clearly not good enough for the boss. And so, because it's her bike, I said, well, okay, here are the two screws, you go and put them back in then. So, like the stubborn partner and wife that she is, she said, fine, I'll do it. This decision was also after a, our neighbour, Norm, came down and gave me a good talking to and said, those two screws really need to be in there. Well, I said, nah, can't be bothered, they're fine, don't need to do it. Well, you're looking at the result of that discussion. So I condescended to help by finding a screwdriver that was just the right size to get down into that area. Of course, in my frustration, I hadn't bothered to find the right screwdriver and just gave up. Turns out the bottom right screw wasn't all that hard to get in. But, I mean, of course, it was only just beginner's luck as far as I'm concerned. Let go. But I was gratified to find that the bottom left-hand side one was a bit more difficult and required a couple of screw extractions before Wendy got it into the right spot. Gotta love these bendy arm magnet thingies. See the screw goes right down in here and it's actually in a, a hole that you've got to line up the screw head to get into the hole that's in the recess and at the moment it's not in the resource recess so we're screwing to no avail. Success! But some success seems to be achieved by using the stumpy screwdriver. Although I'm not convinced yet not success. Yes. It's not going anywhere. Yes it is. I've just got to use the other one to tighten it up. There's the other screwdriver. Oh all right then. It was success. Fine. Be that way. Be the superior wife who can fix things. Ha! Not really. It was just my cunning plan to get Wendy to do some maintenance on her own bike instead of me doing it all the time. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. I have to admit, this business of um, just watching other people work really has its advantages. I really must see if that can happen more often in our garage. And on another topic, you'll note that not a single double entendre was used throughout this video. Pat on the back for the narrator, I think. Well, you happy now? Yes. <laughs> happy now. Happy now. Happy now. Happy now. <laughs> okay, I guess we can say Wendy's happy now. Well, happy wife, happy life. <laughs>